So this, this is where I've come to. Belchford. Maybe over here now. We're walking down the high street. What's what's the dinosaur's name? Who? Pete. Pete, Pete the dinosaur. Yep. Another day. And another day off. Just giving Russia a quick walk. And then we're going to head off out for a few hours. I'm going to go inland. Um, I've forgotten the name of the place now. Somebody's give a recommendation for somewhere to go and visit. Allegedly, about half an hour away. Um, so we're going to go to somewhere I've not been before. And probably there's an old church there. Maybe go and have a look around that. Um, maybe find some woods or a little walk en route. I've got no idea where we're going to go properly because I've never been before. Um, so still in the middle of the school holidays, peak season, so I'm tending to stay away from the main seaside um, attractions or the main tourist attractions. So we're going to all being well, find somewhere um, a little bit quiet that perhaps you may know or you can visit. And I just want to give a great big super thank you to Mick Davenport, Mick, um, for sending over a coffee. Um, thanks, Mick. That's much appreciated. Right, let's get Russia sorted out and get today started. Right, Russia Nash, how are you? Hmm? You've been a good girl. Right, so the place I'm heading towards is a place called Belchford, which came from a recommendation from one of our watchers. Um, no idea. Uh, what's there? Apparently there's a pub and a church. It looks quite small. I've had a quick look on Google Maps. There is Belch Belchford, Belchford Woods over that direction, but I don't know whether that's accessible via a footpath. Um, I'd say I don't like giving Russia too long a walk anymore. 45 minutes an hour, absolute maximum for over there. Going to be a bit, a bit of an old girl, aren't you, Rush? Um, but as we're going on route, I'll keep my eyes peeled for anything else that catches the eye, so we may not even end up at Belchford. Elsford. Yeah, may not even end up there. Who knows? Uh, right, let's get today started and hit the road, Jack. So I just stopped in a little lay-by. A beautiful drive out over here, over the walls. So, um, yeah, does Lincolnshire sort of have some hills? Yes, it does. And right to the countryside. Beautiful drive. Big combine here doing the, uh, doing the harvest. Look at that. Taking it all in. Second one there doing it all. And this is looking over the, uh, all looking over the walls at the moment. And allegedly, oh, that's the Corando. Allegedly, I'm just about five or so minutes away from um, from where we're heading to. I did see a sign for a path, um, which I might stop off at some stage. You're right, Russia. How are you? You've been good. Yeah, there's a the combine. Busy time for the farmers. Now this, this is where I've come to. Belchford. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I've never been before, but apparently just a, a church and a pub here. But what I'm going to do once I've um, found somewhere to park safely near the village where um, the pub is, I'll um, go there, uh, get Rasha out. And apparently there's a, a church here we can go and look at. No idea whether it's going to be open or closed. And then find somewhere else in the area to go and have a walk. So, come with me. Let's head this way. Belchford. Right, so there is a little lay-by in front of the church. Um, that's Belchford and Lincolnshire Walls. And a information board by the Belchford Parish Council newsletter. Um, and then we've also, sorry, I'm actually having a whittle. I think that's a little community hall behind me. And then what we've got here, it's a very pretty, pretty, pretty place, is a little shelter with some more bits and bobs on. Um, and then we've got a settlement since prehistoric times, originally a Danish name, Belts Ford. So I'm guessing it's a Ford here, it nestles in the valley of the river wearing at the foot of the chalk. Um, the village has had a figure of eight layouts since the Neolithic period. Polished stone axes and flints. Oh, good grief! And that's where we are at the moment. 
So I did just pass that um, this here. Was this the bluebell in somebody's referring to? The sycamore tree used by villagers to hang pig carcasses to before World War II. That's interesting. Right, we'll go and have a look into the churchyard. So that's where my car's parked, literally just there. Um, and it says the church is open. And that's the church notice board. And there's a map of other parish churches within. Oh, there's a little bell. Um, so I think we'll just go and have a walk around the outside, the perimeter of the church first, and then the doors are open, we can go and have a look in. Uh, Very quiet and very peaceful. All right, Russia. Little bench to sit down. Oh, in a minute. I think it's going to be time to get a dog bag out. No, no, it's not. But it might be. We'll see. <laughs> You can see that's the uh, looking on the outside of the church here. And very mature trees. There's an owl box on one of the trees up there. Oh, look at this here. This is beautiful. Um, so there's another bench to sit down on. There's the graveyard. Going down a hill here. So I've just come from, I don't know if you can see that motorhome down there, so we've just come from around the bend down there, it's where I stopped, where we had the sign for the village. Um, and then this is now down the back of the church. And then there's a gate just here. Just make my way back to the path. Right. 1893 So steeped in a, a lot of history and It's a very random stone Can we see the... Oh, I can't see the year It's very weathered Another bench to sit down on And then we've just come in, just down, down from here so it says the church is open. We'll see whether the door's open and I'll let Rasha have a quick sniff. I'm just in the um oh look at this here. <laughs> Sandra, you'd love it here. Donations. Help yourself to products, flowers donations, large pine cone seeds, onion, marrow, radish, raspberries, plums. So you can um put a donation into there, so I will put a couple of quid in, leave in, and so just in the hall, uh, like in the countryside. So yeah, more information, human settlements here in prehistoric times, ancient earthworks named Juice Trump Hill within the parish bounds. Henry of England was a very greedy man, greedy for food, greedy for women, and greedy for wealth, greedy for power. <laughs> and there's a sign here saying, Welcome, please close the door um, as you enter, and please close the door as you leave. So, oh. Keep any actual, oh there's um, again all on an honesty system, you can even make yourself a cup of tea. Uh, look at that there, there's a kettle and some biscuits. Uh, 
There's a visitor's book. Episode of pictures, some black and white leaflets. Oh, photos and pictures. Church history. On the main rafters, past those me's, feed my sheep. I'm not too sure where that is. It's on the, oh, I can see, up, up there. Beagle, the nation symbol. So that's where we've just come through the door. You right, Russia? What a fine building. Let's go up to the altar. Memory of the men of this village who gave their lives in World War II, 39. Sad. Unusual coloured pews, aren't they? Oh, there's an organ there. Proper pump organ, look at that there. I won't go any further because I uh, just show a little bit reset. Oh, they're beautiful here. So I don't, you, this isn't going to pick up the inscriptions up on the timber um, up here. I'm mean, too sure there'll be some relevance for this colouring. I'm not too sure. And then that's. Looking back that way, go on, Rush, good girl. Um, let's give you a quick 360 in the middle of where I am now. Yeah, as and when, one day, this is one to um, want to add on to the list to bring Sandra. Oh, look at this here, just tucked away in the corner here. The Incorporated Church Building Society. And a great big bell. And some other leaflets. Information. I don't know to put a donation there or a donation here. All right, let me just, sorry, I need to get my wallet out. I'll be back in a moment. All right, in we go. Look at this craftsmanship. Quite nice. So what we'll do now, I think we're going to go through the village and say, I believe there's uh, the pub down the bottom end. I'm not going in the pub. Um, I don't drink during the day or anything, even for a soft drink. Um, but we'll sort of meander our way down the road a little bit and um, see where we come, Thank shall we? Plan. Come rush. We're not having a walk in the woods. We're going to have a walk in the town instead. So I've just come past um, via Horn Castle which again is not that far away from the nurseries <coughs> um, and I've sort of driven past and sort of semi through Horncastle in the past but I've never stopped here and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was um, so we're going to have a quick walk through the town and the car park that I was going to park on there's a market on it so um, it's market day so as I'm recording this it's um, Thursday and uh, we're on parts on the outskirts of the town and we're just having a walk in and uh, let's see what the town looks like just found myself another hippie shop right, let's see if you can learn an yeah, introduction to witchcraft, spellcrafting, reading tarot cards Fighting Cox pub closed um, there's definitely some uh, few antique shops, all these little uh, Oh, that's just a little drink. 
Right, the River Bane. In clear water. Uh, and there's some reeds down here with a couple of ducks in there everybody's looking at. So sort of coming into the May sort of town now, just past some eatery places. And there's a bit of a notice board here where we are. See. So the Horn Castle was home of Sir Joseph Banks, the botanist who financed Captain Cook's voyage around the world in 1771. Goodness me. Uh, Oh, so, look, come here. Now you won't be able to see, but the duck's got it. It's looking after its ducklings. So it's going to walk over this bridge. And there's a pub here called The Bridge. It's dog friendly. There's another hippie shop. There's hippie shops galore, isn't there? Um, so we're just going to cross over here now into the, I'm assuming it's a town square, which is where I was going to park. But there's a bit of a market on here at the minute. through um, signpost community centre and oh, there's a Roman walk church and riverside walks and lots of uh, market stalls fruit and veg Post office, and we've got stalls galore. Andy, down. Keep away, Russia. Come on, over here. Pizza, kebabs. Okay. Meet Pete. Dinosaurus Rex. I'm not sure what that's about. Available for hire. Um, that's the town square here. Just try and give a quick look at where we are. Lots of restaurants and uh, eatery places about, definitely lots, lots of them about. Fish and chip shop. And here's another map. Now that's where we are now, there, number five. Stanhope Memorial, okay. Sure, exactly where all these roads are leading to and things like that, but it's very busy. There's definitely a lot of pubs, <laughs> uh, it's quite noticeable. Uh, it's coming. All right, so here's uh, another butcher's. More little shops, is that barbers? Lovely lady. <laughs> Old Nick's Tavern. Live music. Antique shops. Mass 
the healer. Florist. Discount store. Well behaved dogs are welcome. Even a phone shop. Homebrew. Admiral Rodney. Rasha, you must run out of sniffing things, don't you? Hey? Every two seconds she's stopping. Right. I'm hoping if I go left. It should bring us back to, to, towards where we came in. I meander myself onto the outskirts of the town. There's a bridge and there's a great big Tesco's here as well. So there's a sign there for town centre toilets. Let's have a quick walk over the bridge. Um, oh, we've got down, down, we'll cross, I think we'll cross over. We'll have a better look. It's a bit more scenic. That's um, way into Tesco's car park. And down here, there'll be duck feeding. So by the looks of it, there's been an old water mill at some stage down here. I'm not too sure, but I'm guessing um, there is. So what we'll do now, I'll say you, Rasha, I'm going to head that way. And all being well, <laughs> we'll be back into the town centre. I hope. I need to be able to find my car. Uh, sorry, there's like a step down, so you can step right down to the side of the river. And all the ducks here. So Russia normally has a gulp of fresh water, which is not um, not bothering. That's under the bridge. That's the bridge we just walked over. How pretty is this? This is absolutely amazing. Really pretty. So, uh, up and down. What's that now? Um, Lawrence Street Paint Display Car Park. Maybe, maybe it was that that we were trying to find and we couldn't find. And this is, wait till you see this. This is the public toilets. Look at this amazing building. Look at this. All right, okay. So I've just sort of gone in a bit of a circle and um, found my way around, right. The, the, guy in the dinosaur suit is now out uh, so if you come down to Horncastle will you see a dinosaur so yes in reality there really is a dinosaur oh, I was just even getting this photo bomb behind me over here now we're walking down the high street, we have a dinosaur. What's, what's a dinosaur's name? Who? Pete. Pete. Pete the dinosaur. Yeah, Pete the Dino. Pete the Dino. There we are. Right. So that that was Pete. Um, <laughs> Girl and Bennett, could you couldn't make it up, could you? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I met a dinosaur today. Oh boy. Wow. St Mary the Virgin Church. Church is open today. Look at this one here. And that does look like it's got a bell tower on that one. Um, I don't know whether we can go around the back and have a quick look around the outside of the building. And then we'll go in and have a look um, inside. Right, Russia. So that's the the back of the building. Look at the gargoyles at the top there. Look at that. Wow. Oh, a little door. was the other gate you could have come in so as you sort of walk past here um shooting into the sun unfortunately
the gold work up there, up on the ceiling. Now, Good girl. Now, turned by the Bishop of Carlisle, Lord of the Manor, lay rectors. Okay, I'm just going to go down here a little bit now. Uh, so, there's a community centre here. Also for the Lincolnshire Wildlife Trust. Well, I've got a membership card back in my caravan for um, for that organisation. Um, the Navalum House. Circular Walker. I'm not going to go on a massive walk because we've been out for a while with Russia and she's uh, just had a drink and everything. These keep to the pass. Well, seems colleagues, memory of Sue Stowe, head teacher, education inspector in Lincolnshire. Oh, hang on a moment. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No dogs. So that rules that out anyway. So, um, yeah. We, w we weren't going to do it, but he said no dogs. I've sort of found what I've come for. And it's a bit nondescript, but sort of interesting. Um, this is what was signposted down here. And in the moment, there's a little information board, but there's somebody looking at it at the minute. We'll come to that in a moment. Castles, Roman Wall. Uh, that's where we are now. Your Stanley Close would have been the West Gateway, the Horn Castles, Roman Defence. Just around the corner, still stands part of the West Wall. Okay. Ah, right, this is interesting. So that's where we are here. And then if you look carefully, can you see the, the encampment, how it all used to be? Um, that's where we are here now, isn't it? Walls clearly built for defence, not just display, massive projecting towers. And a little QR code. All right, so Horncastle, quite a, histor a lot of history and um, facts. That's the church tower, towering over here. Uh, yeah, right, Russia. So back on the road to where the car is. That's the bridge I pass. It's not a pub. It's um, antiques and uh, more of a cafe sort of place. Oh, Russia, where are you going to? Hey, go on, girl. Uh, so, cars parked down this road here. Right, I think what we'll do, I think we'll finish this vlog off here. Hope you've enjoyed a little walk with, hey Russia, with me in Russia. And once again, a little bit of exploring some places I've not been to before. There's probably a lot more to Horncastle than um, than we've just seen. Uh, but yeah, wonderful trip out. Uh, Russia is looking a bit, a wee bit tired now. She's been on her legs for a while. So look after yourselves, everybody. Watch us. Is anybody's birthday today, by the way? Just is it your birthday today? Are you watching this? It's your happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. If you're celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm.